Hi, I'm Sheila Courage. Hi guys, I'm Guinea Kausi Lama. And today we'll be answering a few questions for the purpose of longevity, I would say. Because you know, the Bible says it's an act of folly to make hasty decisions. Any decision you make, why? Out of anger, spite or whatever, it's trust me, the foolish one. Is she regretting already? Why waiting after Davido's wedding to do this? Could it be for clarity's sake? Anyways, guys, watch till the end of this video as Israel DMW Davido's logistic manager S wife Sheila Courage clears the air and counters all the accusations leveled against her by Israel DMW. Please guys, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on your bell notification, very, very important, so that YouTube will notify you anytime I drop new video or videos. And most importantly, you see this particular video, please, I beg you all, in the name of God, endeavor to give it a massive thumbs up, massive likes, comment, and share, so that this video will get the visibility that it needs. That's been said, let's go there. All right, so the first question is, why did I, said Sheila, why did you move to Abuja, stay with your friend. <laughs> so, so the honest answer to this question is that I did not move to Abuja to stay with my friend here, Ginita. In fact, when I made my decision to move to Abuja, I did not discuss it with any human being. I mean, man or woman, not even my parents, talking of my friend Ginita. We're best friends right now, but as of that time, we're not even this close. That's a fact. I met Ginika in 2021. We did a pageant together, Face of Zikel. Shout out. <laughs> so we did Face of Zikel together and I won't say we're like the closest, but then it was friendship, the minimal of it, like you get. And that was just it. Ginika was not even present at my wedding in 2022. She wasn't there. She sent her love, but she was not present. That to show how the friendship wasn't really as it is right now. Yeah, we're just guys. Um, Sheila, so this question is directed to you. Okay. Were you in a good time to your marriage? Hmm. I would be allowed to say that there were absolutely no good times. We sure did have our moments and it was what it was, why it was. So, yeah, there were good times. There's another question for you. I know. No. <laughs> okay. So this one says, why did you criticize his relationship with the Nigerian music star? <laughs> okay, that's direct. Fact is, I did not read my lips. I did not. I, knew, I made suggestions, you know, as a wife and but I, there was never at any point I said, no, don't do this. Why are you doing this? Don't do that. Why should you do it? In fact, I, mean, I did it behind the scenes most of the times. So I take pictures and I make videos. I'm like, okay, I, I saw you doing this and it's fine. I just had, you know, other personal stuff between us that I, I raised with him. But I never at any point said, stop working for him. Why are you working for him? I never, ever did that. All right, so the next question is directed to Ginika. Okay. And it says, how did you come into the picture? Thank you very much for that question. <laughs> um, guys, the thing is, the same way all of you found out about the marriage, the divorce, is the same way I also did. And I called my friend, right? Um, I and Sheila, we've been friends since 2021. We met at a pageant. And honestly, we were not even close. We were just acquaintances. And I saw that kind of thing online. And I called my friend, what's up? What's happening? And she told me she wanted to come to my house. She came to my house and she told me everything that happened. And honestly, I just want to put it out there that I had nothing to do with the divorce. Prior to that, there was never a time we spoke on phone. We were just chatting and stuff. But she never told me anything about divorce or moving to Abuja or anything. So that's it. So there's another question. It says, with everything that's happened, mm. do you regret your decision? <laughs> with everything that's happened, no, a lot has happened. So let's just start with that. A lot has happened. I do not regret any decision I have, I have taken because it was all bound to happen. Let me put it that way. I believe strongly that God is in charge of all that happens in our lives. Whether you see it positive or negative, there's a master planner behind the whole thing. But I've had my moments of, you know, sadness. People are like, you are strong, strong. Hmm. <laughs> I cry, <baby. laughs> You know, I, I feel so bad sometimes about, you know, everything. Especially the way my friend was driving to it. My mom also, you know, said they, like, was driving to the whole job, everything. So that has hurt me, like, you know, sometimes I just turn on my hmm, God, it is well. So, but generally I have zero regrets, you know, zero regrets. But then I've had my moments of 
sadness of the outcome of everything from stats to what you all know about so yeah there is another question here for you that says how have the whole you know social media saga backlash and all of that affected you mm -hmm. i've been wanting to answer this question for the longest um there's a wrong narrative about me out there and honestly i want to use this as a medium to just say it out now that i had nothing to do with the divorce whatever name i was called is false the people that know me the people that have worked with me the brands that work with me know me they've called me and like they already know that these things are lies they are just lies fabricated against me and mm -hmm. i feel very bad it has affected my mental health honestly i wouldn't lie about that and also um my family my mom my sisters my my family in general nobody wants their daughter out there i mean with this kind of news and if anybody would put themselves in my shoes i did what any friend would do for their friend any good friend any good friend would do it for their friend i just i assisted and i helped my friend in, in her time of need and all i got was backlash so i'm just using this as a medium because i cannot come out to talk to everybody one by one i'm just using this as a medium to say that i had nothing to do with the divorce so this is me saying that every narrative about me on this matter is false very very false thank you all right so that's that's very fast this particular question has you know opened up a lot to be honest you know most people online do not pay attention to people's mental health you feel like I don't know what you could think yeah, because you're pressing your phone, only the phone gets affected. You're talking to an actual human at the other part. And understand what you see on social media. Believe, if you believe anything, believe 20 or 40% out of it. I see something about myself and I'm like, ah, now me, this story day. I want to hear more because I'm like, is it me? Is it I? Is it someone I know? So just have this at the back of your mind that you do not know people because regardless of what they put online, that you do not know them for a certain. I want to just openly appreciate my friend Dinika for like you know all the roles she has played in, in all of this. I came to this town, you know, I was a whole mess. Jesus knows. So I feel God literally placed her. I feel like this is the reason we even met at the time we met. You get so I want to appreciate everyone also, the brands that are still working with me, that have worked with me, that have worked with us together individually also. Our both families, my family, her family are close friends that are very few. We sincerely appreciate, like, you know, everyone. And for everyone supporting us, even without knowing, you know, what we have to say. Thank you so much. Thank you for the questions that you've asked. God bless you. So that's just all we have to say for now. So thank you for listening. Bye. It is well. So this is how people reacted. Um, this person said, you can't never clean what has happened in your marriage or the decisions you make in your marriage girl i must tell you the truth because everyone on social media and others are not have heard more about this let me just tell you it may be few people that will believe you like 20 percent out of 100 and others will believe that what you only want is money and fame and let me tell you someday people will still insult you that you are not truthful and you will be reminded about what you have done in many years they will tell people about how you do and what your mother has done in your marriage that's all mark my word hmm. Sheila, darling, how do you cope with all these truths with the most insensitive comments? You took that bold and risky step by moving to Abuja. So glad you are gradually settling in and living your life. All thanks to your friend who stood by you through it all. You will rise against all odds. Keep your heads up high, girl. God bless and increase you both. This girl is such a good friend. Shayla, God bless you and your friend for throwing more lies on this issue. But I have a question to ask. Why were you influencing for a photo studio that encourages adultery? Wow. Hmm. And this person asked, why now? You should have advised her to go to her parents' house. Let it be divorced, be finalized before you should have 
accepted her with your actions. It is easy for people to believe you were part of the whole saga. Love and light regardless. Hmm. I don't know why after listening to this video, some people still choose to comment rubbish. They will. Finally, if some people still don't get it, then they have coconut head and just sad. Guys, I'm so proud of for composed you were. No slander, just explanations and you guys look pretty doing it. She was not close to you, okay? And she said she wanted to come to your house and talk to you. Firstly, how come you accommodate a married woman in your house when you know for sure that most times in early marriage all these things do happen? Why not advise her to go to her mom's house for better advice and for the blame not to come to you? The fact that you accommodate her for that period of time, you put a boundary or distance between the both of them, which is extremely wrong. It is wrong. That being said, guys, that brings me to the end of this video. Please do give this video a massive thumbs up and remember to smash on your red subscribe button. To subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on your bell notification to always get notified anytime I drop new video or videos. On this channel, we react, analyze, we give trending just celebrity news, true crime and true crime stories. And to my Tony subscribers, thank you for always watching, liking, commenting and sharing. Bye-bye for now. Let's up for my next one. Peace out. I love you all. Bye.